Yo, what's good? It's your boy Jave back here with another video. Hope y'all doing well, blessed, on your purpose, getting to a bag, all that good shit. We down here, downtown Dallas, Texas. You know the vibes. We didn't come here to talk about that. We talked about showing up. That's what we came here to talk about today. Showing up. 90% of all your success in life is showing up, G. 90% of your success is showing up. 90% of your success is showing up. So what we doing? What we doing? It's Monday, Money Monday. We came to get it. We came to show up and we came to show out. So how can you personally take this advice and execute on your life? It's very simple. It's very simple, actually. Let's not complicate it. I feel like a lot of times, you know, a lot of us entrepreneurs, high achievers, people that want to be great and do things in life, we overcomplicate things. We think too deeply, we overthink, we don't take action. And action is as simply as pulling out the phone and talk about showing up. Action is as simply as picking up the phone and calling your mom. Action as simply as you driving down the street and you see the flower shop, grabbing, going in, grabbing the flowers and giving them to your girl today. Action is simply sending your mom a nice text. Action is simply posting that Instagram story. Action is simply doing whatever it is you got to do to be successful. That's simply the action. Whatever you think the action is that's going to get you towards the goal, just show up and do that and don't worry about nothing else because that's 90% of the results you're going to get. Now, I know we need to be intentional. I know we need to have a strategy. I know we need to improve and get the metrics and figure out where is the point of weakness and how we can improve our lives. But none of that shit don't matter unless you first show up. I can't figure out the keywords for my channel unless I show up and post vids. I can't figure out what the audience is resonating with unless I show up and post vids. I can't figure out what the market wants unless I start taking sales calls, unless I start putting myself out there, unless I start promoting and marketing myself. So ultimately, bro, we just gotta show up. We just gotta show up. We just gotta show up. So the question has to be, what stops most people from showing up? What stops most people from pulling out their camera, holding it up like this, and recording this video, knowing they wanna be a YouTuber? What stops most people from doing this? It's fear, because fear used to stop me a lot. Like, I'm not better than y'all. I'm not holier than now. I'm not ascended from any of this stuff, you know? I'm just constantly pushing myself. I'm just constantly moving into my comfort zone. I'm just constantly trying to tell myself Keep it simple, stupid. Don't overcomplicate it. You don't gotta be a perfectionist. It don't gotta be the best video ever. I could just simply pull out my camera and hopefully one person watches this video and gets impacted enough to show up today. It's Monday, go make you some money. Whatever you gotta do. It's either gonna be one day or it's gonna be day one. This could be your day one or you could continue saying, one day I'm gonna start that channel. One day I'm gonna get in the gym consistently. One day I'm gonna drop that clothing line. One day I'm going to um, book that trip. One day I'm going to have enough confidence to go up and start approaching girls. One day, one day, one day, one day, one day. That shit's never going to happen unless you make one day, day one, and say, let me just show up today. Let me just do the bare minimum today. Let me just meditate for two minutes today instead of 20 like they talk about. Let me just journal one sentence. Let me just write one goal down. Let me just call my mom one time you know whatever it is you think you have to do only reason you're not doing it is because you think it's too big to accomplish and the big and magnitude of it in your brain is what's slowing you down from taking action so what we need to do is we need to take these big huge humongous goals that we have for ourselves and chunk them down to the smallest task that is possible that's not scary that's something easy that's something that you can do and then be patient you know the whole principle with 90% of success being showing up is the consistency. It's not about just showing up today. It's about me showing up tomorrow. It's about me showing up yesterday. It's about me showing up for this whole year. It's about me showing up these past years. As long as I keep showing up, then the compound effect of consistency starts to take place. So it's not about, oh, I have to conquer the world in one day. It's not, oh, I have to be at 100,000 subs today. Oh, it's not I have to be a millionaire today. I just have to show up consistently. I just have to enjoy the journey. I just have to and like what I'm doing. I just have to not be so hard on myself. I just gotta keep it simple, you know? 
Because all these things, when we be hard on ourselves for, for not going big enough, when we compare ourselves to others, when we look at what somebody else is doing, when we think about how we didn't take action in the past, so that means that I'm less likely to take action in the future. When we start making these comparisons to our past version of ourselves and comparing it to who we are now, or other versions of other people who they're presenting to the world. You know, we gotta recognize that anything we see on social media is what somebody's presenting to the world. So a lot of stuff is not as sweet as it seems. So what you need to do is stay focused on you. I'm gonna repeat that again. What you need to do is stay focused on you and then you'll get everything you want and that's the truth. Because at the end of the day, bro, like I said, the only reason we don't show up is because of fear and we make stuff so big. And what happens when we don't show up? We don't get the result. We don't get the result. We be so worried about perfection and doing it perfect to it limits us from even showing up at all. And that eliminates us from even having a chance. So, you know, before you think, oh man, is this action gonna be too small? Or is this gonna really matter? You know, it's like you're throwing a, a, a it's like you're throwing a, a, a raindrop into the ocean sometimes or on, on some how big our goals and we think you know is it even worth it right but the question we have to ask ourselves constantly is what's the alternative the alternative is not doing it the alternative is not taking action the alternative is not accomplishing our dreams the alternative is not getting anything done so instead of not getting anything done let's just take the big goal the big journey the big task the big dream let's condense it to a moment let's condense it to right now let's condense it to this second let's condense it to oh shit i got 20 minutes what can i do before my next call i can pull out my phone and i can start recording this video because i want to be a youtuber so let me record videos because i want to be a youtuber and just show up and not overthink it not overcomplicate it because at the end of the day this might be a pebble this might be a little drop in the big ocean but at the end of the day if i keep showing up that bitch gonna fill up the whole pool one day shout out to the pool behind me Shout out to the city behind me. I only got here because I kept showing up. And guess what? I'm going to keep doing it for the rest of my life. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.